So today I have something nice for you, how to use Synthmaster 1 as a vocoder. This is pretty simple and I think some people get messed up with it, but you know, it's uh, simple once you know how to do it. So let's see. So I have um, my vocal track here, nothing special, just me saying Synthmaster 1, let's hear it. One. Synthmaster 1. Right, and now I want to vocode that. So. The trick here is to use Synthmaster 1, but you can do it also with Synthmaster 2 um, as an effect insert on that track. So let, let's search for it, Synth, Synthmaster 1 FX, and you can see that we also have one for Synthmaster 2, which I own also. And once you select that, you, you get the normal um, synthesizer, but it you know, you, you can't hear anything, it, it, it will not play. It's just an insert on your audio track. So now, what you need to do is, uh, you, you can select whatever preset you want, but let's, let's start with the initial one in it preset here, and get the, um, the right uh, effect here. So let, let's have the vocoder on the top here, and enable it. Still, when I'm playing, what will happen now is nothing. So we, we don't even hear my, my vocals. Reason is that is, uh, we, we are waiting for MIDI information to get through into Synthmaster 1. And the way to do it is to just add a MIDI track. So let's add a MIDI track here. We call it Vocoder MIDI, for example. And now we need to map it to our vocal track. So the way to do it in Cubase, at least, is click here, the output, you see that that's the output. It's, the input is all MIDI inputs, but the output should go to vocal. That's my track. And now let's see what happens. So when I, when I start play, we can hear something. So let me put my headphone so I can also hear what I'm doing. Right, but it sounds like crap. So next, I think what we'll, we'll do is we'll try to get things a little bit more um, in terms of, uh, of gain. And so what I usually do is I'll get like, you know, just a simple uh, limiter or, or something just to push a little bit more. Because this is untreated, I mean, just I just uh, recorded it a couple of minutes ago. And now, let's see what we've got. Alright, so, so we have, we have the, um, you know, the track playing here. Now, what's going on here? So, first of all, we have a mix knob. And the mix knob will help, you know, it will get through whatever preset you have, but also the vocoded sample. And since th this is the init preset, so you hear just a, a sawtooth wave here. We can get the gain a little bit higher. And the, the secret here is to play with the decay, attack and frequency. So let, let's see what what's going on here. I think this this is the best here. And we can crank the, the gain more. Now this is so, some sort of an equalizer and I can get rid of some of the low uh, frequencies and also you, you hear the, this buzzing sound. One. This comes from the high notes here, from the high frequency. So we can attenuate those. And if you want to really uh, get things cleaned up, you can add some de and you can add some uh, EQ and compression over the vocal track here. So um, let's have that. Just using a simple de from Cubase. 
and you you can you, you can have the the answer go you know really hard here um because anyway the the sound is going to be kind of uh distorted All right. one must one one and again i i can have like a simple um si simple um eq at the beginning here um cut down the lows uh, maybe get rid of some of the highs here and let's hear this uh, i'm not going into very much details now it must be one Saint Master One, 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 Saint So th this is it basically, right? There's uh, not a lot and you need to, to get your sample ready. I mean, some of the S's causing the buzzing and some silence also can cause some buzzing because you'll get some of the of the actual oscillator kick in and so on so you need to treat a little bit uh, treat your vocals a little bit but that's the idea i mean mixed into your uh, you know your background music that should sound okay Saint master one Saint master one and that's pretty much it so hope this was helpful for you and if you like it then uh, subscribe uh, and leave a comment and I just want to mention that I am affiliated with uh, Plugin Boutique and if you want to purchase uh, Synthmaster 1 or Synthmaster 2 whatever you can use my links and I get a little something uh, you don't have to, you can buy the, uh, the synth directly from uh, synthmaster.com, that's fine. And also I have a few videos showing Synthmaster 2, Synth Synthmaster 1, Synthmaster Player and so on, so check them out in my channel. See you soon, bye bye.